I was 24 years old when I went to the porn industry. I had been in the sex industry six years from age 18 to 24. My addiction to pornography uh, began at age 10 and ended at age 26. So the kids out there floating, how can I feel good about myself as a man? Ah, play sports, work out, get a lot of muscles, and use women. Pornography. In the sex industry, every single day was traumatic. Every single day was foom, foom, foom. I, I, I couldn't process them in, other, in any other way than how I was using them. Pornography is always, really, intimate private space conduct in a public forum, in a public space forum. I started losing my mind, couldn't sleep at night, having flashbacks because they're very common in the sex industry. I was shaking, I, 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 I couldn't function, I couldn't wake up. My first scene was college girls with like a professor. And the director just basically, we're all sitting there, and the director's like, okay, I want this, this, and this from the scene. So the camera started rolling, and um, I took over the scene. No sooner had they thrown the rags at me, clean up. Do you know how degrading that is? I, I, I was split. I know I was split. I had like, Little Shelly, and then I had like Big Shelly, and Little Shelly's like, <laughs> and Big Shelly's like, stop it, stop crying, you're not gonna cry here, you're gonna tough it out, you're gonna be the next hottest porn star, like he said. You know, he's giving you more attention than your own father, so I just took the rag and wiped it myself and um, tried to act like real cool, like it didn't bother me at all. But I remember getting really uh, drunk and high that night. <laughs> This was not what our world was like. Hardwired fundamentally to connect with human beings. We're all on a journey to find people we can really trust and give ourselves to. I didn't want when I was with my wife to be thinking of those five, 10, whatever women that, that I may have dabbled in sexual things with. I kept praying, Lord, help me to be a sincere gift to my wife. I want to be, that was my whole year of engagement. Lord, help me be a sincere gift to her. I became a daily communicant. I wanted to be a sincere gift. I fasted for her. Lord, help me to love her the way you want me to love her, the way I was intended to love her. I finally got out of porn and the mess I was in um, by crying out to God. God sent this amazing man in my life named Garrett, who was a pastor's son. Pastor's son marries porn star, go figure. The love, by its very nature, as Thomas Aquinas writes, is diffusive. It, it goes out. It's generous. The model for that is the Trinity. There's the total flow of love within the Trinity. The Father doesn't control the Son. The Son doesn't control the Father. The Spirit doesn't control. It is total self-giving. That, John Paul II says, that's the model for betrothed love. But we've been told, you know, around us, that we have to live this roller coaster life. Well, we don't have to. And we don't have to be entertained every minute of the day. And we can find, we can find joy. And to enter into a greater love, it's even beyond yourself. So it truly is a, a great art of love here. That... Those who understand this, when they are intimate, when they really understand the very nature of human sexuality, will relate that when they are intimate with their spouse, they have this experience, not just of the love of the spouse, but they have this experience almost of this other love far beyond, that the couple is entering in to this other, they're being pulled into this other love. You know what it's about? You know what I figured, what I figured out that success to true happiness is? Serving others. 
we need to restore a, a true understanding of the human person. And I think the only way we can do that is to recognize that the human person is made in the image of God and therefore is worthy of great respect. These are beings who are deeply loved by God. If we can view other human beings in that way, then yeah, we do see their, their goodness and their grandeur. There is a higher purpose to, for why we're here. There is a, a deeper meaning to our life.